All right, cool, man. Let's get back into it, man. We got some tequila here. I know we've been drinking that Don, man. I'm gonna stay with the Don. Pour a little something on the fell. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Get you topped off a little bit, man. Yes, sir. So, let's transition into the real estate, man. Of course, you got the event space. There's a lot of people out there looking to get into e the event space. First of all, what made you want to get to the event space? So it kind of goes back to the backstory. You know, when I was in my government, me and my wife, before we got married, I was, we ran out of event space. I was the general manager and she was the event coordinator. And from that point, you know, we learned the ins and outs of the business. And that was always our motivation. We knew that at the end of the day, we always wanted to do an event space. Uh, we tried before and the opportunity just didn't, you know, because I said, I was telling you, I was moving Fearless Athletics to the to, to Jonesboro Road. But we was going to take the other location and we were going to do our event space. So we started doing the build out. I mean, we painted the walls all black, painted the ceiling all black. And then the owner came and said, hey, y'all got to get out. Just, he was like, we own the building. We're going to rent it out to somebody else. We're going to void your contract and y'all got to get out. Wow. So, I mean, it was like we were ready to do it then, but I guess God wasn't ready for it. And from that point, like I said, we're Fearless Athletics. And right next door is my, my guy, Smoothie Smoothie Group. We have a nutrition spot right next door to Fearless Athletics. And from that point, he ended up moving to another location. So the location next door to my gym was wide open. And uh, from that point, we knew that we was just thought about it. We was like, hey, this might be the opportunity where we can do the event space. And we end up uh, opening it up and doing it. Absolutely, man. That's, that's, that's cool how that all kind of worked out. Um, I know you have some experience from, from previously, so you do come into the space with some experience. If I'm new, I'm asking these questions because I too have thought about going into the event space. Right. Now, I got a bunch of rentals, but the misconception is you have rental properties, you're making a lot of cash on Right. Honestly, I don't make that much cash for all my rentals. I'm lucky that I'm in the green that is in here because these properties only cash flow three to five hundred dollars a month, if that. And if I have a war you to go out or expense that property, that shit gonna be negative in here. Right, right, right. So we're looking to make more transition into assets or things that are gonna produce cash flow. Right, right. Because cash flow is king, equity is king, but you gotta have some type of balance. So I say all that to say. If I'm looking to get into an event space, how does that journey start? Like, what do I need to be looking for first? So the first thing is definitely going to be the research. Uh, once you research the area, see if you have any competition. Um, once you find out, you know, the ins and outs far as, like, you know, the leasing agreement and things like that, then it can be anywhere because everybody is always looking to do something. You have birthday parties. You have uh, baby showers, graduation. I mean, you just keep naming. We have repads. Uh, we have things that just come up all the time. I can just keep naming events after event after event. And you can get really creative with having an event space. So, um, like I said, I love that. That's one of the best businesses that everything we've done, this has been the, one of the best opportunities we've ever done because of the fact that we've been in black since day one. Once you open the doors, the sky's the limit because, like you say, Thursday through Sunday, maybe even Monday through Sunday, you can have opportunity to have some type of event in that space. And that's what's up, man. So I'm looking for, I've, I've researched the area. There's not a lot of competition in the area. What other things go into that research outside of competition? So of course the branding and the marketing is gonna be on you, but as far as once you figure out that you don't have any competition in that area, then I would say the location is gonna be the key. Uh, once you look at your location as far as parking, as uh, far as being like uh, brand recognition, being around other different other brands that are recognizable, I think once you do that, then you can be the prime location where you can pretty much, you know, corner the market. Not say be a monopoly, but at the same time be the go-to place in that area that I um, know that 10 to 15 mile radius that uh, look for a good space, this is the spot I need to go to. Man, I think that was a real, real gym, man. Being around other brands, brand recognition. So when they pull up and they see the public or whatever, cause that, you can capture a lot of traffic from that. And that's, that's a real gym. Oh, that's definitely, a real gym. definitely. Uh, I, I, that's one thing we've noticed, like just from the, uh, uh, the point of the Fearless Athletics, once we got into a place where 
our market and we can say, hey, we're the Target shopping center. We're in behind Starbucks. Just because we're recognized with those brands, they kind of put us in that same brand recognition. So I would definitely say that as a, definitely, like I said, a GM that if you look for a vet space, if you can put your location in that area, that's going to tend to be, you know, things you're looking for. Everybody's always looking for parking. They're always looking to be safe at a vet space, you know, things like that. So with being in those brand recognition, that'll be a place where you can be and you can be, you know, hit all those things at one time. So basically, just don't go rip some bullshit. Exactly. <laughs> Think exactly. Just go cash flow with a Don't do that. Don't do it. Like I said, because you know what we see is, man. I, I keep saying parking, but that that's like one of the most you know important things because with the event space, you want to be able to cater to. We have one year old birthday parties to a hundred birthday party. So if you have someone that is 100 years old, you can't be in a, a location where they're not able to, you know, pull up front, come straight in, and then their guest is gonna be pretty much around that same category. So you wanna be able to cater to everybody. And that's gonna be one of the things that we kind of people get, people focus on is parking the same.